Today we are going to talk about my meal prep and have a look about what I'm going to do the next couple of weeks. Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we it's exciting for me, hopefully for you too, um, as we will you know tackle a new topic in terms of my training routine. As per my last video, I, I told you I'm I'm done with 531 boring but big for now. Has been nine cool months, uh, cr growing a lot in, in that in during this this time frame with a very simple training framework <clears throat> and uh, now it's time for something else luckily it's time for something else as i signed up for a powerlifting meet my first one in three years thanks to all this pandemic happening around us i couldn't really do one i, I was hoping to do a meet or two even in 2020 and the same for 2021 just you know to get some more experience in powerlifting but yeah so last one has been three years ago and it was was a fun experience still here still training like a powerlifter most of the time because i i like to compete i like the challenge i've always been a competitive person uh, while playing you know football or doing martial arts i always went on football matches we played in season tournaments everything i went to fight in in karate competitions or jiu-jitsu competitions and i like to put myself out there and actually see how good i am and it's the same with powerlifting even though you can do this pretty much at home in your garage or even in your gym in your local gym wherever but going on a meet being in, in on the on the center stage basically when all eyes are on you and you have to perform right there right now it doesn't matter if it's a good day or if it's a bad day if you feel like it or don't feel like it if you're hyped or not it's like now you have to perform now you have to really show how strong you are and to me that's something really well, enjoyable if so that sounds a little weird but i like this and, it, and it's fun yeah i am new program it will be 16 weeks long in total i have found one already ages ago which is um, it's not my own it's from calgary barbell we'll show you a couple of links it's it's a very cool here yeah, power lifting gym and they made a whole business out of this and i like this program because it's mainly possible to do with a barbell so i can pretty much quite easily do it at home in my power rack without the need to adjust much so that, that was cool and just you know how i came out of 531 and now it's exactly 16 weeks long with deloads and everything it really fits perfectly to to my powerlifting meet which will be end of may i think my group starts um, on sunday morning so that's that's the goal i think that's the 29th so yeah putting it out here let's see what happens so yeah before we dive in i what are my goals for the, the power lifting meet well besides not getting a, a stupid injury and and having fun that's really important you know it, it should be fun i'm i'm not a professional power lifter this should be fun i'm paying to do this and i'm not going to pay be paid for doing this so it should be fun but of course i i want to, to yeah find new competition prs for myself and in in an even better setting it would be awesome if i could um, even surpass my current gym prs so that that is the overarching goal portraying on on this given day with my three tries in the squat and the bench press and the deadlift is of no, nine tries in total to you know show that I have never been stronger before. That would be really cool because I'm not, in terms of, I guess, um, out of a sports perspective, not the youngest person anymore because you know I'm turning 37 this year. So it's not like I'm in 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 like a, like 23 and you know everything looks a bit different or so makes 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 it even more you know fun for me to realize that hey i'm i'm in sports terms 
quite old already and I'm very new to the sport still. I can, I still have to learn a lot, but you know, I already figured out a lot. Becoming the strongest self I have ever been before should be really, it's, it's, you know, that's what drives me. That's what pushed me. I want to be stronger. So yeah, that's the cool part. So let's switch things up. Here we are. This is basically, you know, where the, the first part of the, of the training where you have to yeah, edit a few things, mainly your one RMs. So what I did in my case specifically, um, besides having some coffee, is if you have been following me over the last couple of weeks and months, I had my ups and downs in, in the 531 training sessions and I had uh, estimated one RMs and as I said, I want to be the strongest version ever that I've been before. So I looked up for the squat, bench and deadlift and overhead press basically where I have been, in, what, what my highest estimated 1RM was throughout the month and that's what I put in there. So for the squat, that, that's 185 kilos, the bench would be 105, the deadlift would be 210, the overhead press would be 80 and uh, for the safety squat bar I just basically took 80% of my, my squat because you know it's in terms of physics just harder and I have to see if this makes sense or not because I never maxed out, never did 150 kilos but I think that's that's a reasonable number, maybe it's even too low. Then they have this RPE chart here, rate of perceived exertion that comes later on in the program. So and to these two I will explain later on too. So let's dive into week one. I will make this a little bigger. Being able to see the exercises and everything the first few few weeks is more important than seeing all of the weeks. So basically it the whole program comes in 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 yeah four basic blocks and then a taper week at the end. Well you could put this basically also in the last block together. That's personal preference. But um, yeah, a very typical powerlifting peaking program which where it starts quite high in volume and reps and over the weeks volume and reps go down kind of in a linear fashion to just portray this basically going from a quite unspecific way of training with the barbell to a more specific way of training with it. What does specificity mean in this case? The competition is about your one rep max in a squat, bench and deadlift. That's basically as specific as you can get or let's say it's if you're, you're, you're a football player, it's training or playing a football game. That's the most specific thing you can do as a football player, playing football. Now what, what this program is doing is basically there are a bunch of exercises that are kind of like the squat bench or uh, the, the deadlift. Some are actually even quite specific. Like I have here first, first day, so tomorrow the first thing I will do is a competition squat. But what is not specific, I will do four sets of this instead of one and I will do seven reps and seven of course is a lot more than one rep. So this is a lot less specific than one rep for one set in the competition squat. Then of course the overhead press is totally unspecific because it's not even a power lift as are bent over rows or the, the reverse hyper and the hyper extensions or a three count pause bench so when you come down you don't just you know you don't do touch and go and you don't just pause for like one second because that would be the the competition bench where you rest your bar for around one second until you get a signal to press on your on your chest so this is even harder you know resting there longer or here a safety squat bar pause squat so here i have a pin squat that's definitely also not very specific, but specific enough because it's still a squat. So that's the overall goal. And you can see over the weeks, the weights here slowly go up. So, and the reps go a little bit down and it's adjusted with the sets throughout the weeks. And while I have, I have looked at everything so far in the, in the program and I ma made a couple of adjustments for the 
first four weeks, mainly to adjust to what I have access to. And it wasn't even that much that I had to change. When I when it says here one arm dumbbell rows, I have to I don't have dumbbells really and nothing heavy in terms of the little bit that I have. So I will, uh, but I have a, a, a small cable pulley attached to my rack, so I will do one arm cable rows. You know, it's, it's that's close enough. So that's that's the first four weeks. Then the next five weeks will be becoming more specific. There might be a few things that I might switch out, like Romanian deadlifts, because that usually don't just don't feel that well to me. Maybe I'm doing stiff legged. Have to see. Not sure, but that is the direction that it's going. So you can see. Again, it's always going to be four days, and the weights will be heavier, but you know reps will go down. And here again, you can see how over time and the weeks, you know, we get more and more to what I hopefully will be then doing in the competition yeah that's <laughs> what i was looking for so nothing nothing it's really not complicated it's really like you have if you have this basic structure then you have the weeks 9 to 11 here here we go it's again getting heavier and here we, it's then you basically you have like a top set and then you have kind of a few back offsets so meaning the, the at the top it's the heavier so you did this and to get you know stronger or better at showing your strengths because that's what the peaking is all about it's not about really getting stronger you should have done this months or years ago like i did the last couple of months with 531 but the last three years i have tried to get um, more muscular and stronger in general but less specific i have never really tested my one rms in a in a very specific way so and now i'm trying to figure out how strong am i actually and in order to do this you know i'm trying to be more specific so i'm working on the skill of strength and not um, which is that you know doing one heavy rep or two heavy reps three heavy reps it's it's not the same as you know grinding out five sets of ten with a somewhat heavy weight it's just different for your head it's different for your body and you actually have to start to believe in yourself that you actually can do this that you can squat down and come back up again or lower the, the bar on your chest and push it back or just that you are strong enough to get the whole damn barbell off the ground for the deadlift so it's just it's it's really a skill and that's why it's it's more about showing how strong you are compared to building strengths which means you don't have to do such a long peaking phase if you don't want to depending on how you train you can just you know do a three four five week uh, peaking phase because you maybe already trained quite heavy so you don't have don't need this long ramp up i'm doing this because i think it's going to benefit me just because the last four five six training weeks were not so great to get you know an easy start into everything and you know get into the groove and i just you know i found this it fits perfectly into the schedule and i like the program and you know it uh, makes sense for me in this case but if you're someone who already who's constantly doing heavy triples or uh, sets of four reps then you might just you know take the last couple of weeks do three to five weeks of a very um, sharp peaking and you're good to go which is totally fine too you know this is um, just there's not necessarily one way or one correct way you know there are different ways of approaching this and i'm taking the longer one because i enjoy the journey that's that again you have you playing around with weights and, and reps and you can see now as we are only a few weeks out of the meet you will have the competition squat and the competition pause bench, the competition deadlift and much less variety. I'm going to spend more sets into the actual thing that I'm going to be tested in. So not doing other fancy things that can help you to get stronger. But in th that's not now it's really not the point anymore to get stronger. Now it's just to show to, to, to make sure that you are good enough in the skill and showing it so the last couple of weeks weeks uh, 12 to, to 15 making this again I, don't know, I think that's okay i hope this is okay for you guys so here we are having again um, the, the different settings and you can see now week 12 
of 16 things are getting quite heavy and uh, right here at the end we are at 170 kilos so um, i'm really I have to see if i can actually do this or not i hope i can I, that's i'm going to push really really hard to get into these estimated 1rms that i did over the the last couple of months because i want to have these numbers this is really where i have to now fight hard to see if my ego can get what my ego wants but also in my, back in my head you know don't be an idiot i'm not here to know to, to push myself into an injury so you really have to listen to your body that's why it's quite helpful that it's a while it's often based on percentages something that i quite like a lot it's also based on on uh, the rate of perceived exertion where you have to really try to be honest and say okay how heavy was this set could i have done another two or three reps or maybe was this an rp10 and even if it was 150 kilo instead of 160 kilo what on paper you should be able to perform maybe it wasn't a good day then it's not the goal the goal of the program is not to slam you into a wall then you can say okay i had a bad night uh, sleeping or work was really really rough or i don't know my dog died and just you know i wasn't there and then you have to be honest say, okay 150 was that was the best i could do you have here then it calculates your back offsets and that's that maybe you had an awesome day for whatever reason and you was you were able to do 170 for an rpe8 okay then be the only point here what i'm going trying to have at home is be honest you have to be honest with yourself you know while you are trying to become the best in the powerlifting meet you're always fighting against yourself and it's you you're not going to help yourself if you are basically lying to yourself so be honest uh, one of the things they have in this program too are that these f and r sets which sound really cool going to i had to look this up in a video from from calgary barber to see what this means and roll it down but basically here the the, the f sets where you work up to hit your whatever you are supposed to do in the set and then you reduce the weight by around five percent and then do the, the f set so basically it's a fatigue set then you have the r set we are repeat sets where you um, repeat the same way that you did before but you basically you, your rate of perceived exertion your rp is probably going to go up so you have to grind hard the one is trying to make you give you some volume reduced volume and getting you to fatigue you know to give you a stimulus the other one is really trying to make you push hard it's not quite the same and it should probably not feel the same so yeah that's why you, you have here a few and that's why fatigue said you can put the, the rpe higher because you will lower your weight later on so it should get easier and for the the repetition sets basically the rpe is set a little lower because you will do the same weight i will squat 120 again um, another uh, two times with the same weight even so you know this might be heavy and this might be in the second set this might be then an rpe 9 in uh, so i could have maybe done one more rep but in the in the third set this might be already an rp 10 so they're basically saying okay hey i could not have done another rep just to make the whole thing the explanation a little simpler this are the last three weeks so we are getting very very close to what i hopefully can do as you can see last week is basically a heavy single in the squat with 170 kilo if you go to the training maxes that is very very close to my 185 or the 175 kilos in the training max then you have the taper week in the end this is basically the week as you can see it is uh, only a couple of five days out from competition four three two and you are not doing much anymore at all this is just especially for for beginners where i would say i'm still part of this because i have just not that much powerlifting experience in uh, in a competition and so i would still say i'm quite a beginner and, and you, you still want to you know show up a few days early to to you know get an idea on 
you know, hone in the technique more. This is way pretty much on and, and work on your mental state for getting your head ready. So here you have basically you testing your opener. This is supposed to give you confidence for your actual meet because you know if five days out and you you were picking your opener, I don't know, 150 kilos and you hit 150 kilos, then you already know coming your your first appearance on the stage that okay hi i have done this a few days ago already i can be confident i know i can do this because i just did it a couple of days ago that's going to be easy because my very first um, squat on in a powerlifting meet it was i really picked something that was easy and i almost didn't make it because i was uh, quite anxious I was you know everything that you had the people looking there I, you know, everything was new I had no idea what was going on so um, this really is supposed to give you a lot of confidence and then you just you know you, you can see the volume is very very low you're really trying to recover from all the stuff you did before giving you a chance to really be at peak performance in a couple of days so and and this is really not then to say hey, that, that's not enough I need to do this and that and uh, some more. You have to realize at this point you are training for, for a competition. This is not about getting stronger or about getting more muscular. This is just figuring out how to get in to your best state for this one day that's probably going to take three hours in total or four hours depending on how big it is for you, you know, to be at peak performance. This is not to try something new this is not to becoming doing something fancy just you know don't push too hard it's really just follow the program and uh, this is going to be not so easy because you know chances are that you are like me and you like to train so but you really have to do less in order to help you peak for your competition so here we are then you have here something four days out three days out two days out and this is still you know you can see this is supposed to be very easy very lightweight again uh, make sure and this is also i'm talking to myself here that i'm not going to do too much um, warm-up sets so you have to find a kind of the middle way between doing enough to actually be warm and not getting injured and not doing too much so it, the whole warm-up becomes a, um, a replacement for a, a training session but that's you know something that I think I can do quite well. Should be interesting. So now giving you a few things about Calgary Barbell. This is their website. They have plenty of coaching. They have programs. They have T-shirts. Might have can give them a look. Then they are on Instagram. Quite a, quite a cool channel. Here are different coaches. Give it a try. And in terms of my my openers, you can see these lifts from three years ago have been my competition um, yeah squat bench and deadlift results so 145 80 kilo and 160 kilo so i really really would like it a lot if i could make these numbers my openers this all these should be quite easy and that's the goal your first try should be something that it's easy that you can do for three or four reps that you shouldn't really be able you know, this shouldn't. This should be something that you can do pretty much every day. And uh, I think after three years of really working hard and trying to become a better power lifter, a better athlete, it would be quite amazing if I could manage this in uh, in the uh, in the meet. So that is really one of the bigger goals. Uh, and, and again, they have a cool. They have also, of course, a YouTube channel with plenty of videos. If you're there watch this documentary the power lifter it's quite cool i liked it watched it years ago and uh, yeah i think i covered a lot this has already been almost been half an hour but i have i try to be you know detailed about everything explaining my way of thinking showing that what what i'm hopefully make this, all of this makes sense to you i'm when whenever i'm <laughs> talking a lot it usually means that I'm quite excited and uh, looking forward to something. So uh, I hope I, you could feel my excitement a little bit. It's not always easy for me to show this in a video when I'm basically talking to a camera. But uh, yeah, I think things are getting better. I enjoy this. Let me know in the comments if you have any you know, questions about 
my powerlifting meet approach or about you know powerlifting at all. I like this stuff. I'm not the best in the world yet, but you know I probably never will because that's a different thing. But I'm my, I'm, I aim to get constantly better, and I think I'm quite good at this and really showing this in a realistic manner. I'm also at the moment working on powerlifting peaking program on my own, which will be a five-day uh, training session and uh, will be completely for free. I will record a couple of videos, so let me know if you have questions about this too. While you at it, please give me a like for this video. This really makes a big difference. And now the last four weeks, my, my subscriber, subscriber base grew a lot. I'm closing into 250 subscribers, which is really, really cool. Again, comment, share this video with someone. Sharing is actually super important in terms of getting uh, better listed in the, in the, from the algorithm. So if you have a friend who likes powerlifting or wonders what peaking is or, you know, share, share it with them, that would be really cool. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This, that's it for today. I will now have more coffee, go for a walk and <laughs> edit this video so that you can watch it. Have a nice, nice day. See you next week. Bye.